And we are live. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a, a few surprise. Like Nasna Paranen uh, is with us uh, in the podcast. So, so we're happy to have you, Cam family. Uh, Sydney, we're going to be your host because. Julian's English, not that great. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> Baby <fine>. steps. <laughs> Baby steps. Yeah, uh, there is hope. There is hope. And, and uh, I'm <laughs> always with uh, my, my guy, Milton. So glad to have you guys and glad to have uh, Lassie. Uh, congratulations, Lassie, on this great, great season that uh, you, you had. Um, first of all, you. what the first... Uh, feeling it's, it's a feeling of accomplishment. Um, what's the mood in the in the local room? Uh, of course, it's great. Uh, we only thing we could have done better is just to get the first spot. So, which was super close. Uh, we we broke some records, which is great. So, uh, it's it's very very good good at the moment in the locker room and on the field everywhere. It's it's going super well. Uh, games are going super well. So. There is no complaint. I I know that there's a great chemistry and a lot of you know, um, I, I like the spirit. You know, when when I see you or feel the training and such, I like, I like the spirit. How, how do you, what do you attribute? Why this year you seem to you know all the guys mesh flat together? What you know? What's the, the special ingredient this year? I, I couldn't tell you. I, like last year, I you could already see that we had potential to be great, and we were playing. Maybe last year we were doing, or we were playing some games. We were playing how we're playing this year, but now this year we're just being consistent. So it's been showing. We got great results, but I don't know. We just uh, believed our system, our our. How we play and it's it's been working super well. So uh, I just think it we just did our thing all the time and we practiced that and it's it's been working super super well. There's a lot of um, record uh, that have been broken uh, this year. A lot of great great uh, numbers. Uh, you have 20 victories, the most points, the most goals scored, uh, the most victory on on, on the road. Um, is that is there something that you know that is more important for, for 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 you and i'm speaking to you uh, directly something that you you are really proud uh yeah of course i mean it's it's good to be in kind of like a history books of uh in the club and also we broke some records in mls so it's nice but in the end it doesn't really matter but it's it's always nice to bro break some records but <laughs> just in the end it's just how we how how well we're gonna do in the playoffs, but it's it's nice to break some records. It's but it's not super important. Uh, got it, got it. Um, back to you. Um, this is this is a great year for you. Um, I I see you blossom. You you on the wings. Uh, having having fun. You you with in your you uh, know your scout report that yeah, there is some website that that do this. Uh, you are on one of the on, on the most um, um, how do you say to say to say this properly? Uh, you have the one of the, the most touches in the in, in the half turn, and you have you, you are one of the players that uh, carry the balls the most. Uh, so I was wondering if I don't know how the, the conversation went with with Nancy about your your position, but I'm like, he's more forward than does he, he ever been in this position. So it's uh, it's really great to see how how the conversation been with Phil and how do you feel uh, in uh, this new position. And that's where you are now. Uh, it's it's just it's when we're attacking, it's a similar like it, I'm on the wing. I have I I have almost the whole side to myself, so I, I guess that's why I carry the ball more up. So I, I don't know, but um, it's definitely every even now every game I feel like I I learn the position better. Uh, mm -hmm. In the beginning, of when I started playing, it was it was kind of hard because I had never been a defender. That's the first thing. But uh, every every game, I feel more comfortable. And um, yeah, and I, I guess when 
now when I'm also defending a little bit better, so it makes make, makes me a little bit happier. So maybe I'm attacking also a little bit better after that. But yeah, I, I feel I now I feel super comfortable there. I I think I've been doing pretty good. So <clears throat> every day I just feel more comfortable and uh, yeah. But with with Fried, when he told you that you have to move like more a wing back. Um, yeah. Do you is there any part of you that said no? I would prefer to be like a forward, uh, to up front. Uh, it's more my game. Uh, or did you see uh, the benefits uh, when uh, when when it, it, it was for? Um, to be honest, I I don't remember exactly how I felt, first felt, but I think I mean now I'm I'm happy with it. So I always knew that I'm I'm decent defender. So um so i think it wasn't a problem i I'm, i was happy just to still play on the wing so that's good so i i'm happy i'm kind of liking it more than just being a winger because not i also like to defend even though i'm not super good at it but i'm every, like i said every day i'm learning so it's it's nice to learn a new position too so i i was happy when i started playing there It's, it's funny that you, you said that you, you didn't like to, to defend uh, because you have a special role in, uh, in, in free kicks and, and also on, on corner. You are the, the last one standing. Yeah. And I said a couple of times this year, at least four or five times, you blocked the, the counter attack. So, I mean, this is the proof that you're a great defender. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there's two reasons why I'm there because I'm I'm fast and I'm shit at heading. So, I, <laughs> <laughs> so there's good two reasons why I'm there. <laughs> but but you do the just the job properly, yeah. uh, like because really, one one mistake, one uh, misreading, and you know it's a goal. Yeah, I'm, it's, I mean, you need to be very aware. But yeah, like you said, uh, I I think I've done a decent job job this year there. This is a question that. Um, I'm, I like I like to ask for for player and and don't and don't take it lightly. Um, how are you? How are you? Uh, do you feeling good? Almost 2,000 minutes this year. Um, few really really few injuries. You got to read him back. How are you? How are you? How are you feeling right now? Ah, uh, I feel good. Uh, and I, I yeah, the small injury just a few weeks ago, and uh, that was a little bit unfortunate, but. Before that, I felt uh, very good. Now I feel again. I started to feel like 100. I feel like I could play maybe 90 minutes next game. But it also because I'm I'm feeling good outside of football, so it also mm. helps in football. So they kind of go like together. So I feel good in outside football. I have good life right now here, and so that's why maybe good football this year. It's been also good. So yeah, I, I, I'm very good. Thank you. Did you change something to, to be at uh, your current state mentally? Uh, you know, you, you feel, you know, you more, and it's my judgment, okay? Uh, you seem more like an introvert, but yep. I see you more, you know, smiling and more, you know, happy. Yeah, I, I, like for real. Uh, so sometimes uh, I, I even you uh, uh, cracking jokes, you know, uh, you, you, like, you look really happy. So it, did you change something outside of the, of the, of the field? Maybe your routine or, or anything? Uh, well, one big thing was last year I had uh, so many injuries. So all, of course that I, I came, I had an injury, I came back. I was a few games, I got an injury again. So that always, always takes your mind a little bit down. And also had some personal stuff last year. So this year, every I had, like I said, I had no injuries almost this year. So I played many games in a row. That always helps. And otherwise, life's been good. So I, I just think it's a combination of everything. There's a, a co-host, Sofian, that uh, joined, joined us. Uh, yeah. Sofian yeah. and Nilton were almost uh, like the first people that really advocate for you that to, uh, to be a, a room back. Um, and uh, it was funny because uh, they said this in, in podcast, and I went uh, the, uh, to diggings numbers, and I and I saw 
that you were winning back a few times, like maybe two times, uh, two years ago. And I saw your numbers, and they were really great. And I was like, okay, I'm on board. I'm team <laughs> Lassie, win back. <laughs> and uh, maybe guys have a, a question uh, about the, the, you know, the position or yeah. the tactical wise, uh, uh, come go and, and, and jump in. Yeah, uh, I have maybe uh, maybe a question uh, and kind of observation about your status with the club. When you when the Montreal acquire you by by Bologna, there are some people maybe were unfair about uh, your status because they are seeing you as potentially the next who will replace Nacho Pietti on the wing. The, your first game was intentional with the the, the sprints. Everybody was wow, was dreaming about uh, some young finish scoring on the wing. Um, you talk a, a little bit about the, the change from the wing from to the wing back. Um, you say you 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 look like uh, like an easygoing guy to uh, propose anything, but in your head, were you losing something? being more defensively or or it's maybe more uh, a position that you uh, add to your uh, cv uh there's uh just yeah, of course in in the future whatever happens it's always good to have more position you can play but also it's uh it's just maybe one downside of uh, being wing back you need to defend more so of course you don't have that much energy to attack So that's only the only bad thing I can say about wing back. So maybe you just don't have always the energy to go up and attack. But otherwise, the position is I like to play it. And like you said, it's it's good to have on your CV to play more positions. So I'm I'm so, uh, very happy to play there. Since this position is like a new a new trend on modern f football, and in the team you don't have as many people who can play that position. Uh, Where do you uh, get some um, some information, some feedbacks about defending as a win back? We we can see that uh, Ismail Konig got a lot of information from Wanyama, but as uh, as a guy who's trying to learn that position in a season on regular games, on games that count, where do you get your feedback from coaching or maybe some the some the central defenders? Uh, to be honest, it's just mostly coaches. Because it's it's not the same defending as being a center back. So it's just um, it's mostly just coaches and I don't know uh, by myself too. Like how every 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 the game you play, you learn a bit about the other wingers and how they like to attack. So you you just adapt, and it's just mostly uh, learning yourself and of course the coaches help if you have questions or. You do something wrong, so. But but Lassie, do you do research by yourself? Like go on YouTube and watch like wingers and fullbacks and see what they do. Do you, like oh like obviously you know this? I don't know any Finnish wingbacks. No? I only know Litmanen and uh, Hippia, so they're not they're not uh, they're not uh, f uh, wingers per se. But do you just do research on yourself in addition to what the staff and with Renancy uh, teach you? Yeah, of, I I've been watching football videos my whole life. So of course, when you watch like wingers or wingbacks, of course you look a bit what they're doing because they play in great teams so of course somehow they they got there so of course they're doing something better than me so of course you look at them and try to take a little bit on your own game <clears throat> sorry um uh, another question last year i tried to ask it to every player that we have i think a you know a big change in football recently was var but another, another change that i see that's as important as the five substitution per games How do you live live with that? How do you see it? How do you, um, yeah, as a player, how do you see it? Uh, the five substitution. You know, some people see it as a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. But how do you see it as a player from the inside? Uh, I don't know. It. I think it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it. It's maybe it's a good thing because I, I don't know. To be honest, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I haven't thought about it. Uh, maybe it's. It's a good thing if you're losing, so you can bring more attacking players. But if you're winning, it's the other other team can bring more attacking players. And if you're like a wing back and first 75 minutes, there's a guy running behind you all the time, and then they bring a fresh winger, and yeah. then it's kind of shitty place to be like a defender. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I, I think it's a 
if we if we would go back to three, just three subs, I wouldn't care. But if it stays at five, it, I don't care. So pretty neutral opinion. Even if you start at the bench, maybe you like it uh, if uh, if you're a bench guy that yeah. there's five substitution. You have more yeah, chance. To play. Yeah, so. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say it's a positive thing. <laughs> um, it, uh, you mentioned a, a bit uh, uh, Europe um, is there something that's still on, on your mind uh, I know that you, you, you we, we were there uh, on a loan with Bologne and then you signed your contract uh, permanently, permanently with, uh, with Montreal uh, but did you see yourself going back some at some point in your career or not, not really on, on your mind uh to be honest, I just go day by day, so I haven't thought about it. Of course, if there's going to be a not great offer or something, top five leagues or whatever, I don't know. I haven't thought it, really thought about it. Uh, I still have two years guaranteed after this year here, so I have time. Uh, I just try to play here as well as I can and just let's see what, what it takes, where it takes me. Um, also, do, do you feel that you... In, are closer to uh, the the the, the fine, fine niche selection. Finish, finish, finish. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I know that uh, you have a couple of selection uh, here and there uh, with uh, mm -hmm. the next Euro and the, qualif uh, the qualification. Do you feel like you, you you're closer now that to being uh, a regular in in, uh, in in the squad? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I think almost every uh ufa break or national team break we had i i got the call up but i had i had some injuries mm. so i think almost every time national team has been coming i i've got injured so it's kind of oh. unfortunate so <laughs> so i i got the call up uh this window too but i just got the injury so so yeah uh, next year we have the euro again euro 24 qualification so uh, i hope i will get the in, invite there and you see your, gr your your group uh yeah we have pretty it's, it's gonna be a little bit easier but it, it definitely could have been harder so. <laughs> yeah, so i think we had denmark we had northern ireland yes uh slovenia yes are you good you know yes yeah and i don't Kazakhstan. remember that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, great. Oh. Hope, <laughs> yeah. hope you will be enjoyed for that game. <laughs> 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 Talking yes. about uh, Finland, uh, Finland has a big relation with uh, with hockey, ice hockey, and yep. uh, maybe you don't know, but here in Quebec uh, and Canada, it's a big, big debate between those two sports, football and hockey. And uh, I was I was wondering, uh, a country like Finland, who has both sports, how the people. Um, Uh, talk about is there's any uh, maybe kind of fighting between let's say media from two sports or uh, sports fans from hockey and Finland or even uh, as a kid do you do you go uh, between the two sports uh, to to practice some sp th those kind of sports? Uh, yeah, when I was growing up, um, my whole team always almost was playing hockey and soccer, so uh, I. I always hated kind of hockey because everything was always just hockey because Finland wasn't that great of a football country. So in hockey, we, we got some World Cups or whatever World Championship it is. But so I kind of hated growing <laughs> up because always every all the, all the girls were just hockey boys. They were just, <laughs> and I, I was always just football. So, but yeah, uh... definitely. I think it's a little bit more hockey country because we've been doing get better in hockey. But after we now qualified for Euros last year, so I think I think we got a little bit of uh, the football country out of Finland. So, yeah. but so, yeah, I don't know. So it it exists another country or or two those two sports are fighting. And clash. There, there's a clash. <laughs> there's a curtain. Yeah, right. A clash. Yeah. A cultural clash between the two sports. Yeah. That's great. So basically, the girls prefer Sago Koivu than uh, Yari Litmanen. So like, <laughs> yeah. Koivu, Koivu is hot and Litmanen is kind of like not cool. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 
<laughs> Unless it aids coeval, right? <laughs> uh, we have a, uh, some question from uh, from a people that uh, are following right now, and a lot of DM that really ha people are really happy to to to, to see you. Um, question: uh, Biggest uh, similarity and difference between Finland and and, and Quebec? We we talk about the the, the hockey side, maybe the cold. <laughs> so similarity and difference. Yeah. Uh well, uh, the similarity is uh, definitely the weather. <laughs> so it's cold as fuck, uh, both. So, uh, <laughs> so that's the similarity. Let's go, Lassie, let's go. <laughs> Do, can oh, you say this oh, in French or? Uh... <laughs> It's okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we love it. It's yeah. all as F okay. in French or it's only in English? It's yeah. only in English. <laughs> so I have to change the rating of the podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I wonder why there was a little bit of silence after I said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, a good, a good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Following, following question, uh, Fabio. Uh, hi, Fabio. Hi, I see. Very nice to see you. Love to see you flying in the wings during the games. I got a personal question for you. What, who are the, your closest friends in the local local world? Uh, uh, Robert. We we uh, we stick together with the Nordic guys. So I stand again, finish. <laughs> no, that, we're, we're, I always go with him to training. We we live together, so it's like a thing. We're brothers, whatever. <laughs> you guys watch and, Netflix and, and... and watch Vikings on Netflix or something? What do you guys do, man? <laughs> what? You guys go on Netflix and watch Vikings, the TV show? What do you guys do at night? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No. Uh... You, you went there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Made it easy. Hey, last year, I have a, a, another question, I guess. Uh, help me. I, I don't know if you see uh, properly the screen. Um, can you read what... Jean-François. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he said that. Uh, congrats from the amazing year. Oh, oh and how do you see that? And how, how do you read it out loud? That... The Finnish part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. On it. On it, that's what I'm going to do. Oh my Ooh. god, I'm so afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was afraid about that. Yeah, that, that was really intense. Um, uh, well, I have a question for you. Uh, we, love, we love to do the, 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 the quiz. Um, you know, the, the game, uh, it, it's the name of the game, uh, Sofian, is Kill Marie. And, and, uh, okay. and, uh, and, have, yeah. and, have, and have relations. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I have three, three players for you. And the, the, the game is start, bench, and, you know, you kick out of the club. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Davies, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, and Jordi Alba. So obviously, this is wing backs uh, because this is no, your new position yeah. now. So, uh, start, Davies. Bench Arnold and sell Arba. You don't like those South guys, and this, the guys from the South, it's not your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised be, uh, for, for, for Alba because uh, he's so much good in this, in this, the, the way that you know, he, at, he attacked the, the, the space. And uh, and I see you doing this really, really often now. It's just your thing now. <laughs> Going, you know, behind the, the, the defender and... Uh, yeah. Sling, 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 uh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm a bit mad because I'm a Barcelona fan and it's, it's not <laughs> great. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that's personal. That, that, uh, yeah. we, we love this. Um, I, I think the the way I, we look for um, of the conversation on social media that uh, this is going to be sold out... Uh, the Sunday, uh, people who have, have really uh, tough time uh, <laughs> finding tickets, so it's a great sign uh, on, yeah. on, on, on a Monday. Um, it's officially playoffs mode. Uh, you know, without revealing some secret of, uh, about Orlando, but how are you feeling about this game? Uh, are you looking forward for, for, the, for the crowd uh, playing in, 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 in Montreal? Um, you know, I, do, do, do the 
I won't, I won't say pressure because it's not that really the, the word that I, I'm looking for, but uh, this is a feeling, it's an exciting feeling um, for, for, for Sunday. Uh, yeah, this is this is my first playoff game here. So, uh, yeah, it, it's always, it's when you have the little, like you said, like pressure, it's always, um, it's always more fun to play for sure. And with the whole stadium being full, it's going to be, even yeah, more fun. So I'm looking forward to game a lot. Uh, I think it doesn't matter who we who we play against. We this season, I think we're always the favorite to win. So it doesn't really matter who we play. But I, I think Orlando is also a very good opponent. So it's going to be a good match. Um, I l love your your content in on, on, on the field. Uh, really, uh, I think that, you know, you, you lock down the, the, the wing, you head back uh, Miller a lot, you, you provide some, some option. Uh, but I, I have to admit, I'm, I'm critical of the, the lack of goals. I, I, I'm, I'm thinking of this, but I know he's a scorer. I, he's, he is a scorer. You know, you, you, their first game and the first year in Montreal, score, scoring at will. And I know that, you know, the position is more demanding and you maybe be tired and have to you know take that take that in the in, in the event evaluation but do you personally feel that you have to to score more or you doing the job that 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 is asked and you're doing quite well so what is your you know your personal take about this uh, uh, your your goals contribution contribution uh yeah it definitely should be higher like I know I'm playing decent and stuff like that, but in the end, it, I'm one of the five attackers that kind of like, so I need to score more goals or assist more. So uh, I, I would say I should score at least 10 goals a season. Oh, that's so, a lot. As a wing back, I, whoa. <laughs> I mean, I... I no, as a, as, a, as a lassie. It's not as a wing back, you know. As, okay. As, as a lassie. I like I that. I like that. No, for, well, for well, the, 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 lassie, the lassie from the 4-3-3, I agree, it's easier. But the last in the three six one three five two, it, it's possible. Yes, yes. The, yes, the, yes. The, at least at Definitely. least the number of chances are there. Like when I see, yeah, him, exactly. Oh, you can yeah. easily make six six to ten, no problem. You know, it's more like finishing luck, bad luck. You know, and the goalie also La needs to needs to make saves. Let's La see. It's because I said ten in radio. I said let's see. He's my guy. He's gonna score <laughs> ten. And now, no, I changed to goal contribution with the assist. We can racking up. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you have 10 points it's the, so it's all, all good uh, but yeah. you know I, i'm glad to hear from, from 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 you you feel that you know a bit more yeah a bit more yes for sure and i i know i probably if i scored every half chance i had this season i already would have probably 10 so yeah so yeah uh i know it's you can't always score but i should definitely have at least like two three more goals so and plus i had a few games injuries so i let uh, let's say next season i play every game almost every every minute i i hope i will score 10. so this is good. this is really nice and uh living with a high objective and high notes uh let's see really thank you for your time you know it's really a great pleasure do you play fifa huh i do have do you, FIFA. do you play yeah. fifa yeah yeah a bit? yeah you have yeah. Uh, dm with nilton um, you know, organize a, a, a because, uh, <laughs> yeah, because every player that comes to the show tells us that they are the better FIFA player. So, is it true or? I I don't know. I I haven't really played against my teammate, but I, are you I better than Robert? Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah that's, <laughs> no, but that's that's. That's, that's not me being good. It's him being shit. So it's, <laughs> that's for sure. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Re enough. thank you. Thank you very much, Lassi. Uh, doing this on your rest rest day, we really uh, yep. much much appreciated. Uh, which wish you really well for the upcoming game uh, against uh, Orlando. Have a, a productive week. Um, at, at this uh, couple of days, prepare and uh, and win this. For all the people that we are coming to to see you on the on Sunday, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you guys. Thanks. Take care, buddy. Ciao. Take care. Bye. Bye. Les choses, hein?
On en apprend des choses. Ouais, vraiment très sympa. C'est vraiment, vraiment content de, de parler avec la 6. Euh, c'est pas l'exercice qu'il qui, qui préfère, mais euh, c'est le fun de, de le voir comme ça. Enfin, Après, on dira pas que les stéréotypes ne sont pas vrais. Hein. Que les Scandinaves sont plus euh, posés, plus. Euh, <rire> un non, 